Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine and this is my Days of Our Lives coming and going video. There are so many people coming and going on this show that I had to make a whole video dedicated to it because it's about 15 characters that we're going to be talking about. So, um, let me get through with the preliminaries. Um, please hit that like button. If, if you do hit the like button, it only takes a second. It lets YouTube know that this is a good video for Days of Our Lives fans. Please um, become a subscriber if you're not already a subscriber. Um, if you are, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, check out our other video on Bold and Beautiful. Um, it is a interview with um, the actor Aaron D. Spears, who plays um, Justin Barber on Bold and Beautiful. Um, we have the full video, which is an hour and 24 minute interview on my um, streaming service which is United Creative Network. You can see it, you can see it for free. I'm gonna put a link in the description box so that you can just go straight to the video. Um, also, um, we had our special guest Zay on our Bold and Beautiful video. And you know, he's gonna be uh, with us once a month now. So, you know, happy to always have a special guest on the show. And I'm going to get started now with this this constantly coming and going. Um, I've already mentioned that Nadia Bajorlin is leaving on Thursday, August the 29th. She gets a job offer and leaves Salem. Um, that same day, um, the actor that Lucas, I think it's Lucas Adams, who plays Trip Dalton, he's also leaving, yeah, Lucas Adams, he's also leaving that Thursday to go to medical school. Once again, they're getting rid of a lot of actors to be able to afford the salaries of actors they're bringing back. Um, so let's talk about the next one. Now, one of the things I was disappointed in is that Pat should be back within like two weeks. So he should be back maybe the first week of September, the second week of September, um, because he's leaving. He's not going to be back in time for his son on that Thursday um, so how he might even show up Friday the 30th but it'll, it, according to the spoiler here that he should be coming back within that two week range that's why Kayla started talking about Patch again um, but once again they have not given a exact date of his return yet which I'm surprised at because they announced it a long time ago um, here's big news. Um, um, Arian Zucker, who plays Nicole, she was asked whether or not Nicole was returning to Days of Our Lives. And her response was, nothing is permanent. I think this happened yesterday. So her answer that nothing is permanent has shocked fans in... And got fans wondering if Nicole is returning just to leave or to stay out of town. Or, you know, I mentioned that um, the actor that plays Eric, he's also having some ish family issues and they announced that he may be leaving the show too. So will Eric and Nicole reunite just to leave the show together with Holly? So right now fans are pretty scared online on social media because just as they're about to get their fan favorites Eric and Nicole back on their screen Arian, you know, throws everybody for a loop by saying nothing is permanent you know, instead of saying, hey, yeah, she's back or she's coming back nothing is permanent is pretty much saying you know, either she's in contract negotiations and, you know, she wants to make sure they got that paper for her or, um, you know, she, she shouldn't have said what she said if she's staying. Uh, we also have another person who's coming back. William Ute will return as Dr. Rolf. This is the way um, that most likely Jack is going to get his memories back. Um, so we've talked about Xander maybe having extra vows that he didn't give Eve that wasn't destroyed. But no, the real deal, Dr. Rolf, obviously a guy who's known for bringing people back from the dead should have a, a contingency on how to bring himself back from the dead. Um, or somebody he brought back from the dead to do it for him. 
So he's returning. Now, Robin Strasser, who played Dorian Lord on One Life to Live, we've already talked about her coming. Her first air date will be September 2nd. And she has a 15-episode arc. I'm sorry. She'll be coming on September 3rd to play Vivian Alamein. And she will be coming with a 15-episode arc. I love Robin. So just knowing it's only 15 episodes is disappointing. But I will value each and every one of those 15 episodes. Now, here's another one that may throw people for loop. Brandon Barish, who plays Stefan Demir on Days of Our Lives, is not in any of the casting, um, like, for the scripts and stuff. And people have noticed, like, I think they said the makeup chart or something they were using. Um, with a much closer look at the current makeup room chart, it indicates an upcoming exit by former John Hospital star. There's no word yet when Brandon or Stefan will be back. Additional casting news is forthcoming. Please stay tuned. So, Brandon is leaving, but, but whether he's coming back or not is um, uns uncertain. Then we have, this is the one that hurt me the most, um, Cassie DePava. She's also missing from the chart. And so, um, they're like, is this going to be a situation like last year? where she left for like I think it was a month or two and returned on New Year's with Jack is she going temporarily or will Cassie be leaving Salem for good so there's a chance that we might be losing Eve and I love Cassie and this really upsets me um now here's the the one I didn't expect at all um Via Magia that she's also um, been rumored to, right now, this is in the rumor mill, but these rumors kind of prove, come up true. But they're saying Thea Magia is set to exit Days of Our Lives in February. Because, you know, they tape six months in advance. Just like Chad and Abigail left in February. And, you know, Thea plays um, Haley, Haley Chen, on Days of Our Lives. So... I can understand them getting rid of Haley because they don't really seem to know what to do with her. She's falling down steps. You know, she's seeing visions of people who weren't really confrontational directly towards her. Um, you know, so who knows what's going to happen to Haley. But, you know, hold on to your hats because she's not leaving by herself. The rumor mill was saying Casey Moss, who plays J.J. Devereaux, is also leaving um, at the same time. And that Haley and JJ may get married and leave town. So that is like the big rumor that's happening that in February you'll lose Haley and JJ. Now, I'm, Haley didn't surprise me. JJ surprises me because he's been on the show for so long. So, um, wow. Now we've got uh, uh, some good news. Billy Flynn returns to Days of Our Lives, and it was originally announced that he was on reoccurring, but now he's on contract. So we're going to get Chad Demir full-time, now that we're leaving Stefan, <laughs> you know, we're running out of Demirs. So, um, because some more Demirs are leaving. So Billy Flynn returns to Days of Our Lives on contract. It is not confirmed whether or not um, Kate Manzi is also going to be on contract right now. She is on reoccurring status. So, are they going to break up Chad and Abigail again? Um, is she going to disappear again? Um, we don't know what's going to happen, but maybe getting rid of Haley is freeing up salaries for uh, Kate. So, right now it's just announced that Chad's full-time. So, this is the big news for fans of Jacob Young that there's a big recast rumor that Jacob Young will be joining the cast as Philip Kuriakis. Um, we know that he was saying that he will either be on Days of Our Lives or he'll go back to General Hospital as Lucky. I was hoping he went back to General Hospital as Lucky. Um, but I think he'll do a good job on Days of Our Lives as Philip Kuriakis. 
Um, I think they'll use him better than they did the other one, Life to Live actor that was on the show. Um, but yeah, Jacob Young. And we also got more news. Now, this news, um, this is another site that also talked about JJ and Haley leaving in February. Um, it talks about Brandon has already finished filming his last scenes of Stefan Demir. Um, and that there's a possible recast um, coming. And that um, Theo um, Pinglis, who plays Tony Demir and Andre Demir, he's also leaving the show. That's why there's, gonna be le there's not that many Demirs left. So he's also leaving the show. Um, Tony is um, was only on for 15 episode arc, just like Robin. So now that everybody knows that Ted, um, Tony killed Ted, either him and Anna are going to run away together and be a romantic couple off screen, or he's going to go to jail for murdering Ted. So, um, yeah, Thale's gone too. Uh, let me see who else. Okay, let me go to the next tab. And this is the last tab. So, but this one also as a separate tab to talk about Theo leaving the show. That he was on, I didn't know he was only for 15 episodes. So that's a lot of coming and going. That's why I decided to do a separate video. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, tell me what you think about all these coming and goings. Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you mad that Nicole could be leaving? Um, are you mad that Theo's uh, Tony Demir was so short? Because you know if Tony leaving, so is Anna. Because um, that story with Roman is not going to continue. I, I sincerely doubt that. Because Roman looks like he has absolutely no interest in her. And now that she knows Tony's alive, there's no real reason for her to continue to farce with Roman. Especially since she carried ashes around for 10 years. So she'll rather be a prison pen pal or on a run versus um, continuing. So we lose Tony, we lose Anna. So that is the coming and going that is crazy. It's so many people, it's crazy. Um, and that's just this week's announcements. So it's always changing. So thank you for watching this coming and goings. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to reading the comment section to see what you all had to say about, you know, what surprised you, like JJ leaving. You know, crazy. Um, catch you in the next video.